the day before launched and it is worse than anyone could have ever imagined and no one even thought this game is gonna launch in the first place okay so this is the day before you know review video if that's what we're gonna call it i just woke up i that's pretty optimistic i understand probably had like three or four hours sleep so maybe we're not gonna be the most high energy have i ever been high energy Pro probably not the day before uh, I could use this video to do a multitude of things. I could. The day before they took my money. The day before they scammed me. What a great time. Do a victory lap, you know, tell people it's great to be vindicated that another game that I said, you know, was going to be bad and there was going to be a million problems with it is bad and there is a million problems with it. Yeah, I mean, most of us said exactly that because it's it was quite obvious some parts did look better than expected honestly in the trailers and whatnot but let's be real it it was it looked bad it looked really really bad but i don't think that's gonna serve any purpose any purpose and then one of the other things we could do is review the game for what the game is um and we will a day z copy essentially do a little bit of that later on but what we really need to do first is address the elephant in the room that this game is a bait and switch like straight up this game is not what they build it as for the years of marketing that they already admitted that they fucked up so what they did was they said you know we're making the day before it's an open world survival zombie mmo yes and everyone said man that's really ambitious and these graphics look crazy it looks like really good graphics for such an ambitious big game uh, and then they repeat the graphics aren't that good, obviously. Who, who expected them to be good? But I will say this. Honestly, some parts of the city do look, you know, they're nicely built. They're not looking good per se, but they are kind of blue. I like them a little bit more than your typical generic game. Till he told people and showed people misleading footage that would, uh, you know, allow people to believe that this was an open world survival zombie MMO. But then the game released, and it's not an open-world zombie survival MMO. It's an extraction looter shooter, um, which is a totally different genre of... By the way, there are some insane people who are protecting this game, and you know what they are saying? Oh! Oh! It's just the first day! They're gonna patch it! Like, why are people so mad about the game being bad? They're just... They're, they're gonna patch it! They're gonna add content! How, how are you so stupid? How many times were you dropped as a child? Did someone use you as a basketball because you were bouncy or something? How, how did this happen? ...of game. Now, let me be clear. If they said the day before was an extraction looter shooter with zombies in it, I'd have been like, cool, you know, I like extraction games, I like shooter games, I like zombie games, I like games with loot. That's fine, just deliver a good game and... Deliver a good game, dude, okay? So when you want to interact with an object, like search it, you need to uh, hold F. Okay, that's understandable, right? Nothing nothing too, too out of the ordinary here. If you want to interact in the safe zone, aka here, with an NPC, you also need to hold F. <laughs> because clicking once is not good enough. No, no, no. You need to hold F to interact with an NPC. That's crazy. That's so stupid. And, you know great that's not what they did so it's really hard to assess you know everything that's going on without saying that this game was just straight up misleading marketing even up until the point you bought the game because you know before the game launched obviously there were people calling me a hater and they were saying oh. okay i i i know about this game but honestly i don't know if i would call it misleading marketing I never looked at this as misleading marketing. I looked at this as a complete, absolute blatant failure to happen. Because let's be real, MMORPG, open world survival game. You know what those words mean nowadays? Nothing. That's Genshin Impact literally for you, okay? It fits in that category. Everything almost fits in every category. League of Legends, Dota 2. Open world survival game. There you go. It actually kind of fits there. 
Now you can argue is it open world, but well, considering that's the world and it's open and you can move in it, I guess it does. The, the, these names, MMORPG, MMO, don't mean anything nowadays. Literally, they don't mean anything. It's either you're like Diablo, you're like World of Warcraft, you're like Genshin Impact, you're like Raid Shadow Legends, or you're like, I don't know, something else. That's it. The, these random first-person FPS shooter things, they don't mean anything nowadays. Oh, you're just hating on the game for no reason. This is the reason that people were hating on the game, and by hating I mean criticizing the things that they'd done, which True. displayed a lack of competence and ability to um, do anything that they said that they were going to do uh, in the public eye. And this is why you always need to do that, and also why it doesn't matter, because this game on launch... When I saw it, it had like 30 plus thousand concurrent players for a game nobody should have bought that launched with a million red flags, uh, with nobody saying good things about it in terms of like media, and with a box price that was ridiculous for... Well, there were some people who were saying good things about it, but then those people were crazy. But admittedly, this happens a lot in gaming, okay? This is in general a human psychology thing, right? If you... If you buy something that's expensive, and it is clearly a piece of shit, and you can't get rid of it, you can't just take it back to the store and you're stuck with it, if someone if someone calls it a piece of shit, you're gonna get defensive about it. This is, this is literally human psychology 101, okay? Uh, all, all your purchases are smart, beautiful. Well, at least most people. Most people don't want to admit that they do things wrong, obviously. So purchasing something like this is bad. And this happens in gaming in a broader sense. Because some people are hyped about it. Some people want a cool open sur world zombie survival game. Because, you know, it does sound cool, right? You know, you can't fault anyone for saying it sounds cool. I think it sounds cool. But this was definitely not it, sadly. But some people did not see that this wasn't it. They were hyped, they were talking good things about it, and now it comes out, it's an absolute piece of garbage. They themselves have played it for 30 minutes, but, you know. And now people are making fun of them be uh, for saying, yeah, we told you this is bad. And they are, are obviously getting defensive about it. It's it's to be expected. expected. It's human 101, essentially. An early access game from a developer that has abandoned every game they've ever made and shown all of this incompetence and these red flags. Also it shouldn't true. have been bought by people, but it was. And luckily, they're all going to get refunds because Steam can't possibly adhere to any kind of like hours played on this because the game didn't work. So you'd spend the first few hours potentially. True. Tr Steam has also done this uh, prior, okay? Where, uh, with New World. Yeah, they did it with New World. They allowed refunds to happen after the 5 hour mark or whatever it is. Because most people needed to spend like 8 hours just in the login menu to uh, get into the game. Never getting into the game. Now what was my experience? Uh, w let me just go back and qualify that this game is a bait and switch. You could even call this game at this point comfortably a scam. Why could you do that? Well, because again, they said it was going to be one kind of game up until the point where you bought it, logged in, did the tutorial, and then nice. you were confronted with the reality that <laughs> none of the things that they said this game was going to be is what the game is. When people started saying that's what the game was, they locked their Discord server, they prevented new people from joining the Discord server, they even locked the bug report section. And believe you me, wow. this is a fucking game that needs a bug report section. That's crazy. Because the entire game is a bug report. They definitely need that feature. I didn't... So, they actually super lied about what the game is gonna be? What? I saw the trailer. I saw the everything. I think that... I think he's uh, referring here to the uh, most likely thing that all of these games do, right? They have their Discord servers, they have, they have their close-knit communities where, you know, actual lies are being told. Like, if you're in a Discord server for a game like this and it hasn't launched, I can bet my ass that there's definitely gonna be uh, extensive lies being told and whatnot. So, I would assume that, yeah, they lied about that, but otherwise, I haven't, I haven't seen them 
I think I think I haven't seen them lie about this because this game was exactly what I thought it's gonna be from the material shown what from what I have seen. I don't know. Feedback. So let me just be very upfront and clear about this. I do not care if they make an extraction looter shooter. It's a it's fucking irrelevant as a point because some people are gonna say what's wrong with that genre. The point is if you say you're gonna do one thing and then deliver another you you lie to people and you lie to people for money which you know i do believe that there's a word for that um and it's a word that people have often used for this game now let's start assessing what the game is we've we've assessed what the game should have been what we thought it was going to be let's just now i honestly don't i i honestly don't know what he assesses this game should have been an mmorpg with powers i i at no, no point did I actually thought that that's going to be it. Should they have opened up bug reports? No, because then the servers would crash because people would be reporting 3 billion bugs per second. <laughs> because this game is... Yeah, boy! Oh my lord, this is trash. Oh, look at what the game actually is and, and uh, assess it based on what we have, not what our expectations was from being lied to for multiple years. The game... Uh, where do you start? It, it's bad. Um, there's some things that people will try to forgive, and one of those is always going to be day one. You shouldn't probably forgive those performance, things. especially network problems and don't, servers being don't. full. Mm -hmm. I don't think we as consumers should accept that. Do not. I don't think that's fine. I think if you pay money for a product, you should expect to be able to play the product and it be serviceable and good. When we throw. Throw. You, you're not supposed to get, give uh, developers a pass because, oh, it's only day one. The game's going to get better. Oh, it's only year five. The game's going to get better. No, the game always can get better, okay? There's no excuse for it not launching as good as it should have been. It is, it's is—it's just basic facts, I don't know. But at the same time, I mean, while that is true, I would like that people actually, you know, had accountability for not being stupid. Like, every single person who bought this and looked at it, uh, at, uh, you know, paid more than five seconds of attention to it, should probably know that they, that they were going to get bamboozled. And the people who did look into this and thought that this is going to be great, they deserve to be bamboozled. Not going to lie, I have no pity for the stupid. We start accepting that you know your money as a consumer is just going to give you something that is not fit for purpose i think we're doing ourselves a disservice and it isn't something that should just be hand waved away as all the games are bad launches so therefore it's okay that this one does fuck all that uh, we deserve better so i'm not going to hand wave that the servers are unbearably bad it seems like the infrastructure no. of the actual game of how it's designed <laughs> is incredibly poor for what they're trying to do let me tell you how it works by the way for a zombie survival game there's not a lot of zombies usually you but the world doesn't look that bad it could have been better for sure but you know it doesn't actually look that bad that's the crazy thing about this the world does not look that bad it looks empty but that's because there's actually not a lot you can do in it that's why it feels empty but, you know, it does not look that bad. It kind of looks okay. Which is crazy, honestly. You would expect that the world would look complete garbage in something like this, but it's decent. Not counting the graphics, obviously. But, you know, still. Log on. Maybe. Hopefully you don't crash. I did. Twice within the first five minutes of Why the game. Why did you buy it? Out of video memory. All right. Cool. My 4090 graphics card is out of video memory if that doesn't have enough where do you go from there uh, and then the other one was i just got a uh, unreal engine survival game fatal error that just said okay on it so you know what can i do about full, that one full, full, when you full, log in full, full, you're nice. gonna create your character that has a bunch of stats they don't do anything in the game as far as i can tell so that's fucking useless uh, that's i guess the rpg it's element stats. that they said the game would have doesn't do anything you get in you create your character you click join so you see what i mean so <laughs> if stats mean that it's an art uh, role-playing game then i get gonna then i guess league of legends and Dota are also role-playing games the, the, the these terms are rpg don't mean anything 
Like, what the hell does a real role play mo 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 No one cares. Oh my god. But hey, hey. If we're gonna use, gonna go by those standards that are, you know, RPG is whatever it is and it has stats, then I guess it's fine. Crazy. Server. There's dozens of servers for NA, uh, Europe, and of course Asia. You're gonna click a server. You're not gonna get into the server mostly. It's just gonna bounce you back to the to the server screen. But if you're lucky enough to get into the game, you'll get a load screen. You'll get in. You'll do some tutorials and stuff. The voice acting's, you know, it's lifeless. The animations are lifeless. The game doesn't really have any soul to it whatsoever. But whatever, we're not playing this for that. We're playing huh? it because it's an open world sandbox <laughs> PvP zombie survival game MMO, right? Obviously not. Um, but then you get into the game and what you realize is that the server you're in, it, uh, it, man. I mean, still better than Starfield. And probably still be better than Avatar, the way of whatever it's going to be. This game just doesn't fucking work. There's 32 people in a server. So you're joining a server, there's 32 people in there, and then when you go into the world, like not the hub, into the game world, as far as I can tell, it's not like an extraction game where the, the servers are spooling up and there's new loot around and then the servers are shutting down and new people are going into these new instances to fight each other. It seems that there's 32 people in the entire overall oh, server and if they're cat. sat in the hub, they're not in the game world. Oh, he has a Hitler moustache cat. That's pretty rare. The game world just seems to be tied to that specific server and there's just nothing to do so let's talk about the actual gameplay first optimization hey hey but there's the would have called that realistic well of course the zombie survival game you're not gonna have anything to do loot or find because it's a zombie survival game everything's already gone dipshit <laughs> imagine that Man, they should have really been for the... Oh, we tried to, the Bethesda approach. We tried to be realistic. It's bad. <laughs> it, it, it just stutters constantly when it goes night. Realistic? Bruh, realistic? Fr from which zombie apocalypse do you get your facts from, boy? I'm the light. It makes my game <laughs> lag. Turning too quickly gives you stutters and freezes. Um, there's graphical errors, animations on zombies. You can't fucking jump over things. You I saw a clip, you know, of XQC playing this, where someone was on the floor, downed, doing a moonwalk, and bandaging himself at the same time while killing him. That was crazy! Barn, you uh, constantly get stuck on things if you try to jump on it. Barns are just really... Oh. That's well, it, yeah, that's what happens in the zombie Game apocalypse. Over. Game over. Yeah. We dared to dream. When you open car doors to loot things, you get stuck inside the cars. It's not good. Um, now let's talk about the actual, you know, the bread and butter of the game. The game world, the shooting, things like that. The one positive I'll say about this game is that the environments look fine, right? Oh, I don't think see? it's the most... Yeah. Again, the only good thing I could say about this game previously was... Especially the dirt when you're in a car and you're driving. That looked really good, honestly. But yeah, the environment doesn't look bad. And some some places look even kind of impressive, even though the graphics are kind of bad. Well, not kind of bad, but bad. Interesting game world, because we've seen this from multiple games. But what it's trying to be, the game world is serviceable. You know, it is what it is. It, it's nice that some of the buildings are open. I would have preferred many more open buildings, but that's something I guess they could expand upon if they continue to develop the game, which will be breaking their own They're habit of abandoning their games. That, right? But the world does feel lifeless in the, uh, other than it looking okay, and it is of course a downgrade from what we originally saw. There's nothing really to it, and there's not a lot to do within the game world. It's a zombie. Also, as much as I can understand it, armor gives you extra health, and that's pretty much it. So, if you're fighting someone with armor, and you don't have, you're not gonna win. Because the skill diff, skill diff is too high at that point, right? The game, apparently, there's hardly any zombies, and the zombies that do exist are not a threat, other than when they're, you know, hitting you from a million miles away for no reason. Well, the reason is because, again, the networking is so bad that almost nothing makes sense of what you're seeing. 
I was getting shot by people that I was having a gunfight with and they weren't even on my screen. Like, they'd go behind a, a truck and then Yo, seconds that's later money. they'd shoot me, but they weren't there. And then th- three or four seconds later, they'd, like, run sideways out of the truck. On their screen, maybe they'd already done that, but on mine, the desync was so bad that, you know, having actual real gunfights is almost impossible to the point where the one time i died um the person who killed me was not even aiming his weapon he was just stood still in an idle animation he's he's gone wasn't even raised and when my character got hit i you know it stopped me using my gun and then like four seconds later my character had just died (laughs) yeah they definitely should go for the realism angle because if you get shot in the head you're probably not gonna uh, you're probably gonna you know not be able to aim for a second or two. They definitely should go for the realism angle here. <laughs> what is bug? this? Is that a bug? Jesus. Shoot it. No. No. What? It's Attack on Titan. It's even better. Wait, did she kill him? from shooting his massive head head, head hitbox which obviously you can't assess a game's it, viability as like the the core of what it's trying to be just the shooting aspect and is that good when a game is playing like that it's it's fucking unbearable he's he's stuck i mean i don't think we need justification for anything game bad game bad game good game good i don't need to I don't need to explain why it's bad. I don't honestly need to explain why it's good. If this game is good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. I, I I don't need to justify something as clearly bad as this for being bad. I can just say it's bad. Fuck. But at the same time, I'm now out of my out 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 of mana, out of ammo. I've hit him repeatedly. That's okay. Wh- hit him more. Bro, he's not even on my screen. That's okay. That's right, pussy. What up? Pop that did not sound Bro, like a dying Did you see sound? him shooting me while he was still around the corner? So already from that, we can't really get a good handle on the main bread and butter of the game. But we can talk about the game design. You know, the, the looting, the extracting, uh, the general loop of how you'd be playing other than shooting people. Because that's all you can fucking do in this game. You can loot, you can shoot, what and you can extract from the game. There's some quests and NPCs to talk to in the hub, but... You know, that's fucking basically playing a text-based RPG on, on the internet. Um, you can't really fuck that one up. Sounds in terms good. of loot, oh man, it's just not good. The looting is very inconsistent in terms of what you can loot, the containers you can loot. There's no open-world loot as far as I can tell. Everything's in a container, so you don't just see things around. It honestly felt like in the hours I was playing, there was no point to looting anything. You might as well just go camp the extraction where everybody else is because looting is just unfun. Most of the times, even if I went into like one of the points of interest, which there's like five on the whole map, it seems like the map is mostly filler, just fucking useless space where nobody is because you almost never run into players. Yeah, I could expect that. Almost never run into zombies. You loot in things that are, all say that they're worth the same as each other. None of it's interesting. And then when you go to one of the points of interest, I'd, I'd go in and I'd loot like... 50 crates and bags and whatever else and each zone would have like the same loot i'd loot like 50 med packs in one area so it just didn't feel rewarding or worthwhile to do in any i i, I mean honestly you know what i don't understand about this it's like everything has already failed but you're like trying to see if there's any justification for this thing to even exist if you can't find a justification for a game to exist in the first probably hour of gameplay it shouldn't exist in the first place like starfield anyway the map design overall is just not good there's like two extraction zones if you have a backpack and they're in the same exact area of the map um so the rest of the map is just you know nobody's there uh they're just sitting at the the end waiting for people which is a mechanic of course people are always going to do but there should be other options to to be able to play the game in the way that the game is is meant to be played. So again, assessing the game based on what it's trying to be. Considering I don't think they actually plan to make a game in the first place. Hey, at least you have bare bones mechanics, I guess. Which is an extra. The modders will fix it though. 
direction shooter. You know, I'm sure the devs will think that's I'm, a joke for people who don't understand. I'm the biggest hater in the world, but I'm now just going to say, you know, what's wrong with the game, and that is the game doesn't have any soul. The game doesn't really have any reason to play it over other. The game's not a game. Pretty simple, honestly, I would say. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it. After you say the game's not even a game, what else can you say? Suggest me content. In any case, that that was Kira TV. Yeah, no, this was just his Kira channel. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's the same thing essentially. Anyway, this was Quizzer said. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have a nice day. Bye bye.